Well, hello there, friends. It's Good News Wednesday, and we are live and on location here at our table at our home. And so, and I have Patricia joining me today. So thanks for taking a few moments, whether it's Wednesday at noon or later in the day or later in the week, just to stop in and check out Good News Wednesday. Now, today is a special Good News Wednesday because Patricia's here and we have some giveaways today. That's right. We've been uh, doing some different things in and around encouraging people to gather at the table. And so we thought that we would do those giveaways live on Good News Wednesday. It's always good news to win something, isn't it? And uh, we just want to encourage people. And that's what we've been doing, encouraging people. Uh, Patricia was doing a what's for dinner challenge for the months of January and February. Now our theme leading up to Easter is at the table. And we're looking at times when Jesus spent um, time at the table with people. And, uh, and so we want to just uh, have some fun with that. We've been uh, putting together a cookbook, a DBC cookbook. And so all this about being at the table, using food, being very intentional with mealtimes, showing people love and grace and connecting at the table. So um, we just want to take a few moments today and do that at our table. Like I said, stick with us in just a few minutes. We're going to announce some winners of some prizes. Uh, but before we do that, I want to give you some good news out of God's word, because ultimately that's where our good news comes from. When we're searching for good news and on those days where we're not sure if we can find good news, we can always find good news in God's word. So I just want to kind of piggyback or uh, jump from something that we were talking about this past Sunday. And if you weren't with us on Sunday, you didn't worship with us. We were at the table of Levi, who was a tax collector, also known as Matthew. We were looking at the Luke chapter five. And so in that particular passage, he's he's a. Uh, called Levi. Um, and so we were looking at the table of Levi, where we found Jesus eating with a number of people. And there were those there that were complaining and grumbling a little bit about the people that Jesus chose to eat with. But Jesus recognized that those people needed him, that they were a needy people and they needed him. And he loved them and he gathered at the table with them. And the table is a place where people matter most and people definitely matter most to Jesus. And the table is a place where we can all find forgiveness. So we were talking about that particular story. And uh, we were talking about how Levi or Matthew was throwing this banquet. It was, it was referred to as a great banquet. And in that situation, when those who were reading that way back when initially heard that this party, this time at the table was referred to as a great banquet, it would have jogged something in their memory. It would have got them thinking about what the prophet Isaiah would have said in the Old Testament. So hundreds of years before that, the prophet Isaiah, one of God's prophets, talked about a great banquet. And it's a great banquet that those who put their trust in God, who believe in him and, and have accepted Jesus as their Savior and Lord, this banquet is something that we have to look forward to. It's a heavenly vision of what we have to look forward to. So before we get into all the excitement of some prizes today and some giveaways, I wanted to read you this passage of scripture because I think it will be an encouragement today. It's definitely good news that we have something to look forward to, that if we believe in God, we put our trust in his son Jesus, we have this heavenly banquet to look forward to, this wonderful meal that God talks about in Isaiah chapter 25. So let me read you this passage of scripture today, and I pray that it will be an encouragement to you, that it will be good news to you today. On this mountain, so the prophet is talking about this mountain, this is a vision of a mountain that he has. On this mountain, the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of rich food for all people, a banquet of aged wine, the best of meats and the finest of wines, on this mountain, he will destroy the shroud that enfolds all peoples, the sheet that covers all nations. He will swallow up death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. He will remove his people's disgrace from all the earth. The Lord has spoken. And so here the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah 25, and I just read you verses 6, 7, and 8. In this part of the Bible, in the Old Testament, we read that God is going to return. And as part of this returning, he is going to have this fabulous banquet. 
And one of the things I wanted to point out to you today is it said that a feast of rich foods for all peoples, for all peoples, everyone that believes in God and puts their trust in his son, Jesus, can look forward to this banquet. It's for all peoples. The table's about, and, and God is about bringing people together. He wants all of his children at the table. And he wants us all to put our trust in him. And so there's this beautiful vision of this great banquet. And this is what we have to look forward to. And of course, I don't know if you heard it, but he talks about how he's going to get rid of this shroud that enfolds us. You know, sometimes it feels like there's darkness over us. Sometimes it feels like the brokenness of this world is just too much to handle. And God says he's going to get rid of all of that. He's going to get rid of all of that. In fact, he's even going to swallow up. He's going to destroy. He's going to get rid of death. And that will be a wonderful day indeed. This is what we have to look forward to. The Lord is going to wipe the tear from every eye, he says. And he's going to remove all the disgrace that is in this world. So this is the great banquet. This is what the people of the Bible would have been thinking about as they're talking about having these great banquets in their home. And so as we gather in our homes, as we eat together, as we have banquets, as we often do, we're coming up to Easter, a number of folks will have great times at Easter and big food events. Let's always remember that we're kind of, we're taking part in something or we could be taking part in something that points to something much bigger to come. And that is encouraging amidst all that we're going through in the world today, amidst all that you're going through in your world. Isaiah 25 verses 6, 7, and 8 provide encouragement to those who believe in God, put their trust in Jesus. Uh, we have a banquet to look forward to. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's kind of a little bit more uh, from what we talked about this past Sunday. I wanted to encourage you with that. And now, and now we need to give some things away. We need to give some things away. So we Patricia, did. why don't you talk <laughs> So the What's for Dinner Challenge. Yeah, so the What's for Dinner Challenge uh, ran through some of January and till the end of February. And the challenge was to have at least 20 meals together at your table um, over at least 40 days. It was more like 48 days. Um, and uh, for some people, for some families, uh, that was actually something that they weren't in the practice of doing, which was really cool to hear how this has challenged them. Um, the challenge has actually worked and they've uh, changed uh, kind of the routine and their practices and uh, they're making that more of a priority. Uh, yeah. And so, so, so with that, you provided families who wanted with a yeah. little handbook and it just provided some questions yeah. and some fun activities and some, just some good things to do yeah, to and, kind of spice <laughs> up the time around the table instead of just going, yeah. so what you do today? Yeah. And with some really How was fun your day? things. I know. <laughs> you know, and we all just stare at each other. So there was yeah. some different ideas that people there, could... There was, and some people really took to that, and some kids really loved it. That led um, the adults in their house to have to go look for more <laughs> questions. They used Pinterest to find more questions and topics and games and activities, and uh, it ended up being a really great um, thing for a lot of families. Uh, we had over 30 families register. Um, not every family was able to complete the challenge, um, or but it wasn't, through, it wasn't but it all was... about just checking off all the boxes. No, it was no, more it about, was about the relationships, relationships about, and quality yeah. time around the table. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. So, so we do have, we have kind of a, an, a winner for the, they kind of over, did the most yep. things out of the booklet, right? They yep. checked, they did all the collected yep. points, I guess. Yeah. I mean, we as a family, we got laughing so hard. We didn't worry about the points or anything. And I think we were disqualified from winning anyway. So I think so. So we have that, that kind of family that collected yep. the most points, checked the most boxes. And, and the winner. Which way do we want the winner. Well, okay. let's talk about the <laughs> check the most boxes. And okay. Of... Well, it wasn't just check the most boxes. It was points. But anyhow, that's okay. So the, the family who... Uh, it, so there's a gift certificate um, from I'm Here and I'm Hungry, um, which is bakery, oat cakes, um, a family uh, from our church connected to our church. So uh, thank you, Adam Seymour, for this. And um, the family that is winning this today is Kelly Walton's family. So thank Yay. you so much, Kelly, for uh, participating. To the Waltons. Um, I know you really enjoyed it. Uh, you're one of the families that I heard back from um, how impactful it was for you. So, uh, Kelly, this is for your family, and we'll get that to you. 
Okay. Uh, and then all the families that I heard from that did participate, followed through, either showed me some pictures, answered the survey, um, that kind of stuff, they all went in to the be my cop. still <laughs> and know that I am God cop. That's what all the names are in there. Now my, which is funny because our table was never be, <laughs> be still. Yes. So um, I want to tell them what the prize okay. is first. So uh, the prize is... Um, a family meal um, from Edwina's Catering. So Edwina on Friday nights offers um, a variety of different meals, kind of a different one every week, and we can provide you with what meals they are and connect you with Edwina. We'll talk um, about and, that when we get a hold yeah, of you. And so this. your uh, your family will win um, a whole family meal okay. from Edwina. Let's... So you're going to pick? Okay, I'm going to reach in. Toss it around. <laughs> I'm going to reach in and the winner of the family meal so that they can continue to connect around the table is Sarah and Jonathan Bragdon and William and, Maria. and William and Maria too. And I'm sure you can have a few more people over because I think the meal feeds like six. <laughs> so, uh, so Sarah and Jonathan, William and Maria, congratulations. And uh, Kelly Walton and family, congratulations to you. And congratulations to everyone who participated and made it a meaningful time and uh it was really neat to hear um some of the stories so thanks for participating okay and one more thing this oh, is kind right. of turning into an extended version of good news wednesday i'd like to try and keep them tight and short but an extended version right because we've got a couple more things to give away we have our limited edition aprons and here's one of them right here. Now, this is one that we've been using here at home, so it's dirty. So this is not one you will win. But we have limited edition aprons. And we had said that anybody that submits a recipe oh, yeah. for our cookbook, um, anybody that submits a recipe for our cookbook, and we have a cookbook coming out. We're hoping around Easter, but we have a cookbook that's coming out. We've already seen a draft. And so we said anybody that put in a recipe, we're going to draw for a couple of our limited edition aprons. So we're going to do that right now. And the way we're going to do that is... We do have a proof of that cookbook already that some of us have been working through. And so we know there's over 200 recipes. There's like 125 pages of recipes. And so I'm going to get Patricia because she's not seen the thing. I'm going to get Patricia to give me two numbers between one and 125. I'm going to go to those pages and the person's recipe that's at the top of that page is going to win an apron. As long as it's not mine. On Good News Wednesday. As long as it's not <laughs> yours. Staff are exempt from this. Okay, so two numbers between 125. Okay, 99. 99. That's because the great one. Jesus would go look for the one. Oh, so instead of picking one, <laughs> you picked 99. <laughs> okay, he left the 99. He left and the 99. Page 99. Uh, you can do it. Come on. Page 99. It's gonna work. It's 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 coming. I don't know. <laughs> this tablet of mine. Okay, page 99. <laughs> Lori Curtis. Hey, Lori Yay! Curtis. Congratulations. You now have a limited edition Douglas apron. And one more before we say goodbye. 26, because it's our 26th anniversary this year. 26. 26. Okay, so Lori Curtis and there's a lot of pages in this cookbook. So I'm scrolling <laughs> through, I'm scrolling through. And the number 26 is marguerite campbell so marguerite campbell is the winner of our second apron so Lori curtis and marguerite campbell we will get you those aprons god bless you all today thanks for taking a few moments and even an extra few moments i'm sure you all hung around to see who won the giveaways but uh god bless you peace be with you and may you know the goodness and the grace of god at your table take care